Satellite and radar shows we've got changes moving into the area first with some rain as we go into the overnight hours, but at least it's not the ice that our friends back toward Tennessee are dealing with. Oh, quite a mess back that way. Temperatures are all over the place in the southeast. Reached 81 degrees today in Charleston. How about that? We're at 51 right now in Greenville, cooling down as we speak, but just down I-85 a little bit. It is much warmer. Check this out. We're at 46 in Spartanburg, down 85 to Greenville. It's 51, going down 85 a little bit more. It's 65. Yeah, colder air moving in along that Arctic front. You can see it uh, basically drapes right across the area like this. 44 in Gaffney compared to 65 in Greenwood. It is a tell of two different areas across the area right now. We need a coat in one side of town and short sleeves on the other side of town. We are all cooling down. We are all going to see rain later tonight. Low 40s across the mountains and the upstate tonight. Thankfully, it is just Good old fashioned rain for us area wide tomorrow. It's quite a bit of rain. It's an impact day. Anytime uh, we have this kind of an impact, it's uh, going to be one of those situations where anything outdoors will likely have uh, you know, a no go tomorrow. It's a 100% chance just about everywhere you go with temperatures holding in the mid to upper 40s in the Asheville Hendersonville area. It's going to be widespread rain all day long. Temperatures holding steady in the low to mid 40s tomorrow. It'll be a chilly day and running a good bit cooler than we've been dealing with here lately with those 60s. It was short sleeves weather for most of the day today with uh, despite the clouds when it's all said and done. We're talking about a solid one inch of rain across many areas in the upstate close to an inch in Western North Carolina, and most of it comes tomorrow. Let me show you the latest computer model by eight o'clock tonight. We've got some spotty if not scattered showers that becomes a little bit more widespread after midnight. By the time you're waking up, it's not raining every single area, but that will change as the day goes on. There's a break here and there, maybe a quick lull as you're heading out the door tomorrow, eight, nine o'clock, but that changes around lunch time when more steady rain moves in could be in two waves. It'll slack up be a little bit more drizzly than pick back up. I think between one o'clock and five o'clock is our heaviest rain across the area tomorrow that continues into tomorrow evening. Here's 1130 tomorrow night. We're still dealing with rain across many areas in the upstate, but after midnight things begin to clear out and when you wake up Friday morning, we're talking clearing skies and cooling temperatures. It's going to be a windy, chilly day on Friday and as we wake up Saturday morning, ouch, it is going to be frigid in the low 20s. As we look ahead, the weekend looks very nice. No rain expected Saturday or Sunday, but clouds will build in for a time late Saturday into early Sunday. That'll move out late Sunday. And here we are with a dry start to your work week. A couple of days of dry weather. We'll take that right kind of busting up the dreary pattern that we've been in and temperatures are actually going to warm up after a very cold weekend. Our southerly winds will send us to the mid 60s next week before our next chance for rain is a quick one. It comes in next Wednesday into Thursday. Let me show you the uh, 10 day temperature outlook here because we're all over the place. We're colder than normal. Each number here represents temperatures below normal by almost 10 degrees through Saturday, but beginning Sunday, Sunday, we turn the corner. We're some 10 degrees above normal most days next week. The temperature outlook beyond that gets us all the way into the middle part of February. It too is trending toward above normal. So the four day looks like this 48 degrees tomorrow, 49 clearing and breezy on Friday. We're in the low 40s on Saturday, mid 50s on Sunday, and it's up from there. We're touching 60 degrees by Monday and some sunshine to come with that. We're in the mid 60s by Wednesday as some late day rain moves in Western North Carolina. It's an impact day tomorrow. Tomorrow windy and cold on Friday at 36, but steadily warming up in the next week.